And hi, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, Ryan's back. <laughs> yep. He just last he time just I last time I followed New Vegas. I don't know what the fuck happened because I wasn't fucking here. Uh, we went to the Thorn. Uh, we started the side quest, and you know what? Let's not finish it. It's boring. <laughs> I tried to warn you. I know. I blue well, okay. Blue I will tell you, going down to like doing that green man uh, section was actually valuable for something later but uh there, there was more to it than that i just want to show the thorn more than anything because this is a good place mm -hmm. to get a lot of caps and doing that side quest i see let's see how do i get out of here again this way i think now today uh, kind of i am officially flipping my idea wait i think this is to the sewers god damn it i don't know where i'm going we lost mm. Wow, it's almost like the sewers are a frickin' maze. I know. This place sucks. I heard Mr. House is done for. Uh... Did I just exit from here? Like, nope. I hope the sewers don't okay. The worst. As I was saying, uh, I'm gonna flip my idea and we're gonna go do the DLC. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll do, we're doing Old World Blues, everyone. Today. We need. I gotta get two number nines. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> number nine large. Okay. Let's just look at the map. Local map. Uh, that's where Lucy's Chamber, Thorn's Cages, Thorn Cages, Thorn's Cages, Thorn Cages, North Sewers. That didn't help Thorn me. Thorn Cages. Everywhere we go, we're gonna be running into cages. There's gonna be Nicholas Cage at every single corner. Oh, yeah. Yep, and then there's also gonna be Johnny Cages. I'm gonna tell you, Ryan, you didn't miss much. I mostly just ran around in circles. <laughs> it's boring as piss, which is why yeah. I'm flipping back around. Yeah, I believe the last 10 minutes, minutes, but I believe like the last 10 minutes of the last recording was literally just, was literally just us trying to get out of the damn, out of the damn fallout shelter. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going down here to the Mojave uh, Drive-In. We have to go to Nipton to do it. Actually, before I go, I should probably make sure I'm all, all stocked up. All I know up. is we punched out Mr. L Mr. House. Actually, before I do anything. Before I do anything. A oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it just died. Okay, well, uh, that solved that problem. Well, something happened. We just took one step and everything around us died. See, you can fast. You can't fast travel away from enemies, but you can definitely fast travel to enemies. So you definitely want to watch that. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Or but then again, that technically puts it in favor of two perception, because that because that means you can fast travel closer. Maybe. Okay, so we're gonna be dropping all of my loot because we want to we want to go in nice and uh, fresh. <laughs> Is the term? We want to go help fresh. Let's see, uh, I really don't need these. <laughs> I was holding on to them, I don't need you. Oh, I don't need you. I might need you, don't need you. Uh, don't need you. All but you, motherfucker. Don't need you. Uh, don't need you. Oh, uh, well, it sucks for Boone, but I uh, sunk his beret. <laughs> <laughs> Boone doesn't need he's now far dead. Yeah, he's far dead. <laughs> and then I'm mostly oh. wanting to buy um Jesus Christ, I told you what it was. How much was the mini again? Oh, 5,000. Yeah, okay, I need ammo. <laughs> if I recall. Because <laughs> uh, there ain't no shops in the big MT, yeah, so... We definitely want to make sure. Okay, this is just gonna load me down, actually. Um, so I want to make sure all of the weapons I use regularly. Actually, don't you know. will get, a, you will get a gun. You should get a gun in Old World Blue. Who's that fits? It's the gun archetype. Yeah, but you know, gotta make sure. Uh, we need the point. Uh, we need these magnum rounds for that gun. And then we're for the assault crime. We need five millimeters. 
things I should have done while I was off screen, but you know, making you watch me do all this. We don't have five millimeters, god damn you. <laughs> Whatever. Comedy. Comedy. Alright, now Cody, we're doing the day. Stop? Cody, could you stop eating your Boone brand and jerky? <laughs> what? Somebody's eating. It doesn't matter. I was I was just trying to I was just trying to make a joke. I'm I'm sorry. Nah, it's fine. Nah, it's, nah, it's fine. I was just confused. Oh, are you not eating anything? Uh, no. It's not me. Not me. Not me. Hmm. I mean, I have a nice drink, so... Are you eating your drink? <laughs> yes, he is how, eating how do you drink. eat he's liquid? He's eating the glass surrounding the water and leaving the water in floating. Hey, they sell, um... They sell edible, uh, cups. <laughs> okay, so, uh, it's a midnight showing. We have to come in at midnight. So... We need to wait about... 20 hours. <laughs> Stare off into space. People are just walking into the show and just seeing these guys standing here for hours. Also, those clouds are turning green. Everything turns green. Anyway, so yeah, if you come around midnight ish, this appears. Chris says, uh, blah, 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 uh, recommended level is level 15 plus, which is why I definitely didn't do it until now. Yeah, uh, and we can't return once we start it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, and our, uh, uh, teammates are leaving. Uh... So, no Rex. <laughs> All us. Oh no, our remnant of the king. I don't worry, we've consumed these parts of us. We are the king. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists well, there might be an explanation for that one. They sought to create a new there world, is. fueled by technology for the benefit it's of it. all mankind. Sonic emitters, space age out. So yeah, these guys are the guys who create a lot of the weird shit. You see, field particle research, auto dock advances in. Cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the dome, a huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great question. War brought Why? a new energy to <laughs> Big question. Why how not? You, question, how do you stop a nuclear fallout? Although sheltered from the front lines... Answer her to question one. Why not? Answer to question two. Who? They're working on it. Equations and <laughs> calculations marched endlessly Why not? across Why? chalkboards Why not? Why? and computer terminals. Question two is rebuttal. Task failed. <laughs> oh no, they're still working on it. Just the in case. Task failed. Were a blaze of Just in case. Oh, you see that gun in oh, the bottom failed. right? That's gonna be that's gonna the be the main reason why I want to do this. <laughs> First, geometrically, task failed. So did the exactly. questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. 
In the aftermath, big mountain silent experiments went to sleep. Their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. Yeah, and they the supposedly died the during the nuclear the apocalypse. Lay untouched. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's what happened. Yeah, totally. that, That's what happened. <laughs> Well, we've seen what that's like. This one the is more end, like a mild had been answers to the wrong question. Case in point, Mr. Pals. Well, let's just say Mr. House is actually a pretty good example of what might have happened to him. <laughs> Feels strangely heavy. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical stars around your head, chest, and back. Welcome to the big empty. Jinx. <laughs> yeah. So we still have all of our stuff. So we didn't get robbed. <laughs> Which, getting robbed is a big threat for when starting these DLCs, I'll tell ya. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, because are you still on the old book with the shoes I think? Mm-hmm. So we have this place. Nice uh, area. In a place. There's no fighting here. This is the war room. But uh, we gotta go to the think tank. This is the think tank. Strange feeling of pacifism comes over you. You cannot draw your re weapons. Oh, is this just a giant sequence of puzzles that we need to be in? No. They just don't want us killing these guys. I thought I <laughs> the pacification field kick in. Alright, Nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We! Why? Why, Oppenheimer, you which it. one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, eight? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice That's a science kill. joke. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's enough. Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now, now, great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Uh... Yeah. That response seemed demanding, as if cutting to the case. <laughs> Chase, how surgical. Reminds me of... <laughs> Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone. I'm not going to be skipping through dialogue like I usually do, because, well, that's half the fun of this DLC. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. If it isn't it is my old colleagues, colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain, Big Fools, oh, it is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is forbidden to you. Even they got high intelligence, low wisdom. Right, try to speak up a little bit. You're coming off a little quiet again. Oh, oh, so oh. Yeah. Or rather, this DLC is coming out a lot louder than I thought it was going to. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of loud. <laughs> Compared to the rest of the game, which I usually have, holy smokes. Goodbye. Yeah, fuck you. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise Someone's jealous. research methodology. What are they going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius. And the technologies that could save us. 
they are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. Was ask the lobotomite for help. Hey, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent. I'm pretty sure our characters it's never needed their brain before, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> can't lose, you can't lose your brain in the Forbidden Zone if you never had one. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in... Also, yeah, they no, actually did remove our range. <laughs> yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. Bit light for that. Yeah. We removed your brain. <laughs> yes. So soft, barely wrinkled. Also, it's just so called us a smooth brain. Has been Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils, the Tesla coils, the coils. So we have the brainless perk. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technology. Your head can no longer be crippled and it was resistant to chemination. And shock for bodily damage. So, uh, we now take less damage. <laughs> because we don't have a brain. Is this, per is, is this a permanent thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, okay, it gets upgraded once we get our brain back, but you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh, the Tesla coils in its head. Tesla coils in our head. That's um. If your brain was that's big. In the dome, why you could access your aggression centers? Circumventing the pacification field. This is a no no. We have never been in a fight. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. <laughs> ah, yes, Richie Marcus. That is my responsibility. Although, in truth, the auto. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them. So yeah, now. it's not just the uh, brain he removed. The organs. Go to sleeping. First was the heart. Yep, we're missing a heart. <laughs> so we have the heartless perk, and that also not like we've ever used our heart before. We've been a heartless bastard this whole time. So all of our healing items and uh, chems function a lot better, and uh, robots don't crit us as often. Off. And we can't be poisoned. Oh wait, I mean, yeah, we poisoned. Was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Now we don't have a spine either. <laughs> Spineless. That's the one we've been using the most. Your choice can no longer be crippled, and your strength and damage that's will have been increased. So we're actually stronger without our spine. <laughs> <laughs> I love how all the perks are there. <laughs> Doesn't that put our strength at like 11 or something? Our strength was at 8, or I think it was at 9. Either way, there's a reason why our strength wasn't maxed out even then. This was all planned. <laughs> Mindless purr. <laughs> damage threshold is always useful. That reduces how much damage we take. Fine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. Yeah, I'm sure you used to being very, quite spineless there, buddy. Mm. Uh, to be correct, my... you should say, the auto dock took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so hard. It worked so hard on your surgery. It destroyed his own memory. How odd. 
That auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius' creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the Yes, attic. one of Mobius. After they that, used one the of Mobius' no machines, Not in and it did some no weird sense. shit. <laughs> I've gotten flushed into one of the Yeah, places. that that makes sense. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Flush. That is the sound of flushing. By the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk. Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. <laughs> I prefer science as ballistics. Yes, it is our only chance, a desperate plan that came... Maybe, just maybe. If we reclaim... Uh, yeah, we'll okay, do the one. Do the one. We are always mm -hmm. sure in what we do. You must be sure in what you do. We... Yeah, I didn't do much. Uh... Um, what was the one no. in six shot? No, that means oh. I had one intelligence and I need six for that to work. I thought we'd get something funny. I'm sorry. Equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive. Oh, don't worry. This is a really good dumb guy conversation later. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, I know. I know. Sort of. And eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and. Enough. We need. I love how Esther just explaining. Excellent. <laughs> this is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Uh, Hold on. Hmm? Sorry, it's really hard to hear Ryan over their voices, so turning it down. Great. There we go. Oh, and I've used my robotical Too much. <laughs> To, um, there we go. I, I still love that. I still love that. Just, we're talking about just like because of the uh, doors and lockers. Settle down, Ace. I'm gonna find it. I realized that maybe they had the Ace transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um, they, well, move sometimes or get buried or blow up. Or they're just dumb. <laughs> Like I said, high intelligence, low wisdom. They know shit, but they know jack shit. So do not give in to your biological I'd say more... I'd say more mad scientists. But that's giving them a bit too much credit. It, mad scientists, at, it's at the best, think about the, their actions. Things. These guys just do things because they know how to. Yep. Nonsense. This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Our technology is no more lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon. The technologies are the X2 transmission. <laughs> so, what they're saying is we can create a new Fallout game if we just blow the place up. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Dampening, sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or Ah, yes, see. the stealth suit. That will be useful. Since when do we ever stealth? So. We actually did it this one time. We actually did it this one time to Claymore someone in, in, in someone in the NCR. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, and then stealth went goodbye. Hey, hey, stealth work, they didn't know it was us. For whatever reason. Besides, the stealth, besides, the stealth suit's actually a really good piece of armor. Our sneak skill is actually pretty decent. What logic is this? Keep your filthy penis-tipped feet out of my life. Here, oh god, he said penis. Oh no, we're gonna get axed on YouTube. 
Goodbye, Sorry. friends. <laughs> I, will, I will see you all in hell. Because all of you deserve it. And I will be throwing rocks at, down at you from Burger Shut up, Hey, you're the you one who is... Fuck up. Hey, you've declared murder on specific characters just as much as I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I actually had a reason for it. You just did it for the funsies. Okay, well, don't tell me you wouldn't have enjoyed the murder you asked for, so... <laughs> true enough, true enough. Ah, so everybody on YouTube, correct. You must I'm sorry, walk upon this is our last penised feet. <laughs> Much slower than our advanced hovering robotic Oh, brains. he said it again. We're cancelled again. Oh. I could always run right into the pilot. Root, I said cunt earlier. I don't think we're staying any longer. Get to us quickly and directly. Yeah, directly. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying <laughs> beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts and the prox. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory hmm. loss will And there's the main reason we should uh, get rid of these machines. Means, means that these assholes put in our, our bodies because they don't work as well. Well, as the actual things. They give us bonuses, but, uh, yeah. Uh, EMP grenade, boom, we dead. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, he will be... Oh. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the Ah, uh, yes, the sonic emitter. There's the first weapon we, we deal with. Like and honestly, one of the worst for our builds. Don't worry, we're about to... In this same conversation, we'll get the other weapon that's good for Wait, hold on a second. He just said, You're making us look like a collection of loud earthers. I mean, these guys believe the earth is flat. Oh my god. <laughs> They're a bunch of flat earth scientists. <laughs> no one is out there, people. we just have to find it. No, yeah, um, uh, over a hundred years as a brain in a jar doesn't exactly do much for your sanity and memory. Just as X8 is forever <laughs> lost to us. The sadness of my high school days. The sadness of my youth. Oh, the fuck up. My youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was Tommy Fink Tattletale and all the kids you hated. You little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sun into the You. <laughs> Warmed up. This is the sound of some robot fucking right here. Turkey's <laughs> done. I'm not touching that thing. I'm touching that thing. Anyways, uh, this is the one we definitely want. 
What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you Always mad? make sure you have at least 50 guns gun. before you come in here, because you get a very good weapon. <laughs> Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse. <laughs> The That's correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized <laughs> by my soft. God damn it! Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following the glass of hemlock with an abraxo chaser. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If you're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Burroughs, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes. I the cyber dog gun. gun. This is the best thing. <laughs> oh, damn right it is. It is literally ah, the ah, one of the ah, 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 Don't tell him. We'll have to show them. It's going to my chassis. Anything else, Lobotomite? So there's some other stuff we can get, like uh, we can get some uh, ammo if we had a higher stuff. We can get another Sonic Emitter if we had a higher energy weapon. And uh, that's it. Fine. So yes, get the. <laughs> They're just like, all right, we gave him one gun. We're good. Bulls out, Batman, in front of them. Where the hell did he get that? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Simple. Up my ass. Thank Do you know what radiation feels like against your prostate? It feels great. But did the game freeze? No. If it's frozen on my end. It's not on my end. What about you, Jesse? Not on my end. I wouldn't worry about it. It's not like there's anything visually that stuff. You just gotta listen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't even hear anything either. Mm. We'll have to fix it in a sec. I'm gonna try and stop watching it. Okay, so that uh, war room we walk through is our gonna be our home base. <laughs> and it's um, let's just say it's filled with very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> barter? Did you say barter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels... Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crap out. Of course! Go now! Oh, and I leveled up! Cool, I'm gonna take... Oh, uh, what do I need? Uh... Uh, oh. more guns. <laughs> Big Hold boom, on. go shoot. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now we have the best one, the cyber dog gun. I can't take it out right now, but I'll show you in a sec. <laughs> uh, Ryan, are you still frozen? No, I'm not. Right, I, cool. I logged out and quickly came back in. Excellent. Alright. Here we go. It's a dog gun. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a... Uh... It's a dog gun. You see that brain? That's a dog's brain. It's a gun that is actually... It's a gun that's run by a dog's brain. What the fuck did these bastards do to it? <laughs> they uh, made it better. <laughs> no, dogs are pure. If it makes you feel any better, 
Uh, uh, it's still uh, it's still a living thinking thing. thing. It's still a good boy. It, yeah. In fact, some might say it's it's the bestest boy. Well, I mean, we still have Rex, but you know. <laughs> I don't know. That thing Poopy Scar considered their method for giving for for prepping you the Sonic Invader was to literally do, literally do sound bukkake into it. Ugh. By the way, uh, the timer's up. So after this conversation, end the episode for now. Yeah. Hold on. So, uh, there's some other backup. Oh, wow, we gotta fix up everything. We'll, uh, deal with that in a sec. But, uh, until then, I hope y'all had some fun. And, uh, next episode, we're gonna actually start exploring this place. Hope you had some fun. Bye. Bye.